Hello everyone and welcome to Zach's Garage. Now this morning I woke up with a real craving for pizza. So I thought to myself, where's the best place to get a pizza? Well, it's not Tesco's or Waitrose, it's got to be the Sharnbrook in Bedford. Only a three hour drive, so today I'm going to take the pista to get a pizza pizza. Right, let's pull it out. Right, so as the whole of the UK is in quarantine, firstly, let me say, I hope everyone is healthy, I hope everyone's staying safe and being appropriate with social distancing. Now, what I'm doing today may be seen as a little bit flash, but I just want to highlight the fact that this is only a little bit of fun. Um, there is, there's always gonna be some people who are gonna go, what an inappropriate thing to do at this time. Personally, just see this as a little bit of fun. Um, now, upon filming from outside, I had to come in because it started raining. Cool. First time we've actually had the pista out on a proper journey, it's on really slippery tyres and it's the first time having it for a proper drive. So, you guys are going to come along now. I know in the reveal of the pista I said the next time you'll see this is, in quote, probably going sideways around a track, but coronavirus so instead we're going to get a pizza in a ferrari so without further ado let's hit the road that is the trip for this journey so from there what we're going to do is we are going to see how many miles the car has on it from now. So I've just reset the trip. The car has 242 miles in total. So we're gonna see from here how many miles we do today. So let's hit the road. Okay, so we are now on the way to the Sharnbrook and luckily it's turned into a lovely and sunny day. So fantastic. Um, the current journey is looking to be, uh, well we've got about two hours left, I've been on the road for about an hour, yeah I know, um, as I said I haven't driven the car that much, uh, we brought it back from London and driving back from London isn't exactly an interesting drive so uh, yeah, um, one thing I have to admit with this car is it is fantastic at being relaxing to drive, I've currently got cruise control on and it's effortless, just like its predecessor, the 488. So this journey really shouldn't be too hard, but hopefully when we get near Bedford, we'll be able to find some more interesting videos. Okay, so we've just arrived at the Sharnbrook and there's no one here. So, there is that. I don't think I've travelled three hours to not have a pizza. <laughs> I'm sure Chiro is somewhere. We will see him in just a few moments, I'm sure. But yeah, I'll catch you guys in a bit. So while we're waiting for Chiro, this car is actually getting rather dirty. If you can see there, it's got some flies on her. Um, it's amazing, the Rosso Corsa paint actually doesn't really show too much dirt. I mean, the one thing I don't like about this car is this rear window. If you can see here, there's loads of like water droplets and I mean, it's easy to wipe off, but the one problem is, is that when you're driving, if it rains then stops, you can't actually see anything out of the rear glass. I mean, the fact that what I'm calling the duck tail here, you can sort of see this bit, it already cuts a lot of the vision. So realistically using minimal rear vision at best. Now I know I've been talking about this place a lot but what it actually is is a place where there has been an amazing amount of charity work done by Chiro and everyone at the Sharnbrook. Now one of the main events you'll hear about is the Rays of Sunshine event. There's people like Yanni there, there's loads of big names in the sort of car world who turn up 
and the more important thing is is how well Chiro and his team here raise funds for these charity. Now it's a long drive for a lot of people but the amount of people who travel such long distances there's a guy who drove from Scotland and this is in Bedford just to come to these events so when I woke up this morning really fancied a pizza there really isn't anywhere else to come because the amount of stuff these guys do for charities and stuff and plus their pizzas are awesome so check out their sort of videos of their events they're pretty wild they're great fun um, last time I was here fun enough it was in our previous 488 um, me and a few friends came down for an event um, I don't believe I videoed it um, and fun enough it was parked right here and Yanomise's event at all which he's just sold as parked somewhere here I've very rudely parked the pista right in the middle of everything but anyway I digress Chiro should be here in just a moment and hopefully it's pizza time Now with current times, unfortunately, I'm not actually allowed to eat in here, so I'm going to have to take my pizza away, but they've very kindly bought it out to show, look how good that pizza looks. Honest to God. I know I keep talking about food, and this is not a food channel, but if you guys are anywhere near the Bedford area, or even if you're not, just come get a pizza here. It's literally the best. Anyway, they're going to package this up, um, I'm going to have a chat with Chiro, and then I'll catch you guys back on the road. So there's very few people who own an Italian restaurant and turn up in an SBJ. Now that, that is cool. We've now got the car in what Jero calls the glory hole. I may have to bleep that out in the YouTube video. I, I don't know how the monetization works with that, but there we go. So we're two meters away as we should be. Zach's made it here for pizza in his pista. He's sitting gloriously in our glory hole. The glory hole here at the Shambrook is where we always put the special cars at the hotel, at the events. When people are walking up the steps or getting to the lower level, they have to go past this point. And when you look at it perfectly, you can see the hotel in the arch with the glory hole car. And that's the glory hole at the Shambrook. Just for you, Zach. <laughs> okay, guys, so Jero has said that I should do donuts with a pizza. And it's literally freshly mown lawn. And the gardeners are just over there. Just want to say thank you so much for having me. Absolute pleasure. As I said, guys, you've got to check out Jiro's place. All the pizzas come here when the events are open. It is so worth it. It's such a cool place to come. So thank you again. Thanks for cutting the grass, Zach. There we go. <laughs> Cheers. Right. So. I know I said goodbye just now, a little side note, I may have got a little bit sidetracked on the way home, visited um, someone, and yeah, we have done the grand total of uh, 281 miles today, I think. So yeah, that's that. Right, it's good night from me. It's currently 10 o'clock at night and I'm going to put the car away in the garage. Anyway, all the best.